I'm here to announce that Tom Horner is uh, the candidate that I support to be the next governor of Minnesota. Tom Horner is as well qualified to be governor as any of the candidates for this office this year. This, however, is a year which requires a candidate and a governor who's also an independent thinker. Tom Horner is more than the Independence Party candidate uh, for governor. He will be the only qualified by experience independent thinker on the ballot for governor this November. I've known Tom well since uh, he came to work on my campaign way back in 1978, an election, by the way, uh, very much like this one. He won my confidence and went to Washington with me to serve as my chief Washington aide for six years in the United States Senate before returning to Minnesota to begin his own business. <laughs> the parallels between the Reagan years in which we both served and uh, the years of economic recovery, years of changing the policy roles of government and the policy leadership required should be obvious. And Tom is a product of that era. When independent thinking by Democrats and Republicans was essential to turning the country around, restoring public confidence, and I must say, this was not just a one-man show in Washington, D.C. in those days. I am here today because I believe Tom Horner has a unique ability to bring people from opposing sides together, to craft mutually acceptable policy solutions to what appear to be insoluble problems. He has a gift for being able to define a problem like those we face as Minnesotans in a way that's just hard to argue with. And that's true whether you come from the right or you come from the left. It's my opinion that this is not the year that Minnesotans will elect a governor whose primary credentials are party and legislative experience. It makes no difference how long that office holding experience was, nor how passionate you might have become because of it. It does make a difference that you have a vision for the possible. You have a vision for our potential as people of Minnesota. It makes a difference that you understand the role of government, but have experienced the values of entrepreneurship, of civic action, and of community service. It makes a difference, too, that you seek this office only because it is the one job most critical to our futures, not to yours. And it comes with the responsibility to lead Republicans, Democrats, and independents to do what no governor has ever had to do. Get us out of what looks like a $7 billion difference between our expectations and our apparent capacity to achieve those expectations. I believe this is the man who can do it, Tom Horner. Thank you. Thank you.